Good morning, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. I am so sorry for... Well, it's not really too late. It's 11, a little bit after 11 here um, this morning. I have spent a lot of time trying to get this video out to you. So yesterday afternoon, I, I created stillness um, briefly. Just kind of like shut my eyes real, real quick, quickly to uh, give myself some rest. And I ended up hearing the 14th. Today is Pi Day. Pi 3104. March the 14th. I mentioned it briefly or talked about it yesterday. And um, when we are talking about Because this is high. Because ye day yesterday was a new moon in Pisces. And uh, last night I ended up seeing the two fish. It was as if I was actually in the water, in the ocean with the two fish. And Jesus was walking on the waters. When you are, if you were to look at the symbol of Pisces, not the one with the two fish actually swimming in opposite directions, if you look at the one that has, um, it looks like portions of the circle with a line intersecting them, that line means there's a connection. So you have the two fish on opposite sides that need to unite and connect. They have been divided and they should be unified. When they become unified, the broken circle becomes a complete circle two complete circles. That unification, of course, let's see if we go again, pi represents the circumference and the diameter, and you get pi. Pi is another, is actually, I ended up reading where it is, they came up with, this gentleman ended up figuring it out, that pi is when decoded comes out to be the name of God, Elohim, reduce, reduces down to 314. Today marks six days until until we get to spring. Within the seed of life, there are six vesica piscis within them. When you look at the Vesica Piscis, you'll have two circles that have created a unity within itself. But now, in the center pillar is the womb of creation. It is that fish. The fish. The The Vesica Piscis also translates into the fish bladder or the bladder of the fish. And you 
and you can look back into a lot of throughout a lot of the um, art or cathedrals where within this bladder is either Jesus or many prophets have been placed within that bladder and painted with a muriel. When you have on opposite sides now of the two circles of the um, Visisca Pisces, Piscis, the Visica Piscis, you have the representation of masculine and feminine energies being united or the sun and the moon overlapping each other. You know, I was trying to do some research about how did this play out last year. I didn't go any further than last year. That would just take too much time. I've already spent uh, several hours here this morning again trying to compile, make sense of everything that I've been receiving. It didn't line up last year. I know it didn't line up last year where Pisces was just before Pi. Hi, Day. And it didn't line up. As a result, it didn't line up where Pi was exactly six days until spring. Spring is the time when everything lines up 12 hours. 12 hours. Where that sacred marriage can take place. And, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, I have been, I've been reading and reading and trying to, and it's, it's so, when you are thinking in terms of pi, because pi gives you, num gives you a number, pi gives you your relationship with God. Pi is is that never ending number. It's infinite and just like that infinity sign is continuous. It's never ending. Of course if you want to follow that infinity sign and I'm not sure if I put that in one of my videos, that gif I don't think I did. I think I did on my social media accounts. No, there it is. Um, from six days ago. It creates that circle again. Which a circle, again, is continuous. And the more circles you make, the more Visca piskies, piskies that you can have. However, the plural pronunciation is of that. Which means you are going to have how many of those internal wombs, internal bladders of creation. So the seed of life is a representation of both six and seven. You have the six circles. And then a center circle. And we all know that creation took place in seven days while well, God rested on the seventh day. So there's that whole week. We have exactly from today six more days. 
so from yesterday's new moon was exactly seven days. Today is is high, but it's because of the combination of. And I'm trying my hardest to get this correctly here. So if you're thinking about this, the veil of the Vesica Piscis, when we are able to unify those two spheres into one holy circle in the first thing of creation, the line and circle or the diameter of the circumference becomes the ratio of pi. So if we are unifying the two circles instead of creating the Vesica the Vesca Pisces, the Vesica Pisces, you can finally get that ratio of pi if you were to divide the word Piskies, it's divided into two, pi and skis, however you pronounce that on its own, which comes down to pi incision being the, the, the main word of where they get skis from. Within the vessel of, of Vesica Pisces, or Pi Scission, lies the waters of creation that leads us to the beginning of all creation in the chaotic waters. From the sphere or egg, that circle that zero point of all creation you can have where it's been split it's been cracked and had developed two halves linked together by the womb of creation And don't forget, Jesus is a representation of that fish, which refers to the waters of creation and the heavenly sphere in which the greater creator being initially resided. So these two spheres are still continuously being unified. They're not really separate, although they can still be considered separate, but because of that unity. Or you can also think of this in terms of because they are unified, it is the universe. It's being held together at a central point here. So... I was just thinking about all this today and there's still so much that I am going to research and there's still a lot that I don't know. You know, sometimes my messages, of course, come through day by day and, you know, I thought I made my video. What day was it? three days ago um, in terms of the spring equinox and I I think I, I made it prior to me realizing that we were going into a new moon in Pisces because the circle that I end up seeing or was being given that was drawn was an underlying arrow and and then the upper drawing arrow. 
which now, of course, after I made that video and uploaded it and the next day came, I realized, oh man, that was Pisces. It was the one fish going one way and the other fish going other way, the other way. And then, of course, yesterday receiving the 14th. After the 14th here, something is taking place. So I'm still waiting for more information, and but I wanted to share with you the concept of the Vesica Piscus and its relationship to kind of where we are with the new moon in Pisces, the pie situation here. You know, like when we're also again thinking of the, the I can not remember how to pronounce this. The Vesica Pis Pisces, Piscus, Vesica Piscus. I'm listening to your pronunciation every single time I say that. The Vesica Piscus, except that time. Now I've lost my train of thought. When we are, when God ended up separating heaven and earth. So God is this unified circle. When he divided heaven and earth, there came the two spheres. Yet he kept us together, linked up, still, ever, ever so slightly, which is in that center of the two circles um, unifying there, creating that oval or the egg or the, 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 the belly of the fish, the Jesus. <clears throat> we are able to become unified again. The unity between God, which is both masculine and both feminine, in all aspects because he created man and woman. He created the sun and the moon. We are able to witness our own creation. And we also, and I, I know I mentioned this, and a lot of people mention this, when we unify again, the left and the right side of our hemispheres of the brain, smack dead in the middle of that unity. Oh, is our pineal gland, pituitary gland, the eyes. I meant to go do some more research. I just remembered what I was supposed to do. And um, hopefully I'll be able to do that later on today or tomorrow morning. But we also have, because we were separated and divided from the conscious, from consciousness, because of the fall of man, we will have the divide between the waters of our being, which is associated with our root, the earth, and then the heavens, which of course is associated with our crown. <clears throat> we have a unity of above and below. We have a unity that must take place from left to right. We have a unity that must be taken place from in and out as well. Before everything is linked up together. But in doing all of this, we're doing it at the same time. Because unity takes place every time that we are working on it. It's not like we have to, because when it works with one area, it's going to unify the other. It's going to be a pull. 
So I don't want you to think that, okay, now I just only have to work on my root chakra and then eventually I'm going to be working on my crown. It takes place simultaneously because they're always connected. Every time that you are changing, whether you want to say negative to positive or from bad to good, whatever it is that you resonate with, use, when you are changing one way of being to a higher way of being. You're automatically changing the other chemicals within you that give you higher consciousness, that allows everything to rise within you and awaken everything that is dormant. So I just wanted to share this today with you. And you guys know that as I receive more information and figure things out, I am going to give it to you. Like I said, sometimes, depending on where I currently am in my process, it's either easy or more difficult. When it's more difficult, it means that I'm hitting a higher level and I have to prove that this is what I want. There's a lot that I have already been given that I haven't spoken about because, of course, it's not here yet. I have been given information about my future. It's not here yet, of course. And I have, I'm being kind of tested. Do I want my future? Do I want my purpose? And if the information that was given to me settles within me, just fine where I don't see it as a good thing or a bad thing and I just know that it's mine I get to receive it and by me <laughs> working so hard on trying to figure things out like this I'm also telling my future my purpose you bet your bottom, this is what I want. What we are always willing to work for is going to be ours. And it doesn't necessarily mean right now creating you know, you're a job or something like that. It doesn't necessarily mean working towards, you know, and creating something right now. I am patiently waiting, but I am working for, I am showing by really focusing on what I am doing, what I receive, and trying to figure things out. This is an internal process that has to be completed and you have to really show proof that you believe in it before it's given to you. Before creation can be given to you. Before your life, your higher self, your purpose can be given to you. You're proving it to yourself that it's what, that it's what you want by the actions you do every single day for yourself. Whether it's creating stillness and making that connection whether it's getting healthy and trying to be your best self. Whether it's changing your mindset because you want to be a better person for yourself and others. Whatever it is. I study a lot. I want to be able to give the right information to people. Of course, I know in time I, have, I am upgrading myself enough to be able to receive a clear transmission where I may not have to always do so much research. But until then, I still have to prove that this is the path that I want and that I can give information as best as I possibly can and do so with love being its only agenda. So I hope I hope I I have made sense. 
regardless if I don't know. I don't know right now. I know this is a, a, a huge marking point for us, for us all. This one is leaving me a little. This one's making me wait a little bit more. I'm thinking that it could be this, it could be that. Well, it could be anything right now. The thing about birthing opportunities more is that it, it's always open to something. I guess I am just trying to give you guys something to think about. Because not everything is as it seems. Yet it makes sense when you are continuously seeking answers. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.